guys a short video here about how to set up your Denon receiver with your video projector over HDMI arc so we have here the ViewSony 4K HDR projector which is very good by the way that cable it's a HDMI ultra high speed cable it's 18 gigabytes per second cable and it's important for the HDR as 60 frames for per second in 4k and i think it can get even 120 frames per second after you set up everything we want to use just a remote control to start from the receiver the video projector so it's a possibility with the hdmi r but we got to set it up before that with the projectors remote control we can turn off the projector and the projector will automatically turn off the receiver guys before starting i want to make an announcement the last week we published a video involving the denon receivers how to best calibrate it i advise you to watch that video because you can calibrate your denon receiver for those models who support odyssey as a high-end amplifier yes you heard me right especially for those of you who have uh, let's say medium budget receivers and you know receivers cannot replicate a high-end sound well guys we managed to get our receiver to sound almost like a high-end amplifier which is a lot and it's not about uh, odyssey calibration with the microphone it's an entire procedure it's a special file that we will send you for the demo receivers and uh, based on the uh, previous uh, week video you can hear the differences we republish it and we put the microphone here to the speaker to for you to hear perfectly the differences because i cannot sense big differences only very small differences between uh, the receiver the non uh, s960h and a high-end amplifier which is more than 2000 euro in value so to have a 1000 euro receiver good calibrated good set up and with a special file that will make your sound uh, perfectly i think it's awesome i recommend you to watch it so let's see guys now we are into the menu of the uh the non s 960h which if uh, your receiver any receiver will support hdmi arc function you got to go into the hdmi setup so let's see what settings do you have to make first of all you see here you got to put the hdmi control on to the tv audio switching put on power off video control for example if you watch a video from a source it will turn off your receiver only if you are listening to the radio or you are, if you are listening to your receiver to the usb stick well uh, when you turn off the receiver it will not automatically turn off by all sources like this or by only video so i recommend you to leave only the video because you can listen to the radio or do something else power saving turn off this function if you have this in the uh, hdmi arc uh, the power saving power saving you will make a lot of trouble so it will not work with this setting i don't know it in what conditions i think it will work but i don't know uh, in what conditions would work this power saving to the hdmi arc if you are watching for example with a remote control of tv you can use this feature to uh, enable the smart menu features of the, your Denon or uh, whatever brand you have Sony or any receiver if you have of course if you have this function we're talking now only for the Denon receivers after you make this let's go into the projector and let's see into the menu we have let's go into the menu go at the power management and you will have auto power on you got to put to the signal to catch a signal from HDMI it will automatically turn on and the CAC enable the direct power on will uh, will enable uh, will automatically start your projector when it will be plugged in into the wall socket 
The problem is to this uh, ViewSonic that it, it starts even if it, this function is disabled, but that's another story. So let's turn off the projector and theoretically it got to turn off the automatically the receiver. So now our projector is turning off, but it takes two minutes or more to cool down the lamp inside. This is a special feature which will save you the life or it will extend your life of the internal lamp. And to demonstrate guys, I have put the remote control of the receiver below to show you that I'm not closing with uh, the remote control and it's closing by itself. And perfectly, the projector just turned off the receiver. So it turned off itself and then turned off the Denon S960H. So this is a wonderful thing. What about now? We have the remote control of the projector that I will put it right here for you to see it. And I want to open up and to show you guys, I want to open up the receiver and the receiver must open up the projector. But this depends on your projector. For example, this ViewSonic will uh, turn off when you put the setup button of the receiver. And in some situation, guys, I push only the power button of the receiver or turn on from the button the receiver and the projector started. But in most 90% of the cases, you got to press the setup button on the remote control. So let's press the power. Now the receiver started. The projector didn't start it. Let me show you. So the projector is in standby mode. Now the remote control of the projector is there. This is the remote control of the receiver. And now let's press only the button, only the button setup. And now the projector, it's working, is turning on. I believe with the other projectors, you will succeed only from the power button of the remote control to turn on your projector. But in our case, it's working with the setup button. It's now into the setup button. You can see here the audio, the video, input speakers, blah, 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 blah. So this is, guys, the way how to set up the HDMI arc into the, the non-receivers. And with your new projectors, this feature is supported by the new projectors. The old projectors will not have the HDMI arc, even they, if they have the HDMI inputs into the back. Do not be confused about this. You got to have the HDMI ARC function specified by your manufacturer. Please check out our last week or we republish it uh, this week, our video and uh, check out guys, uh, please hear the differences with the headphones, especially between the receiver and this high end amplifier, because it's a mind blowing. I succeeded to uh, create myself. I had the garbage sound and I succeeded to set up perfectly this uh, receiver and take every bit of audio and use the artificial intelligence or the software inside that with the firmware of course and to make it uh, best and squeeze uh, take out uh, the maximum capability of his components so with a small file that we will send it to you, you can make yourself uh, almost not a high end, let's say a high resolution, a true high resolution 
uh, receiver that you will ca- you will listen music with your receiver you know receivers is especially if the medium the low budget or the medium budget receivers you cannot expect uh, uh, audio quality to it only for movies and let's say for radio or something else but guys uh, you can listen now to music and then enjoy an accurate sound with uh, these receivers even if you have a low budget or a medium budget receiver if it supports odsa uh, that feature is also important in the entire uh, calibration process because it's not only the uh, calibration from the mic i'm repeating myself it's an entire uh, complex uh, calibration process that uh, we will uh, send you a special tutorial on your email step by step for those users who will pay it's a paid uh, video uh, that one with the calibration and with uh, 800 and 1000 euros of your receiver you can enjoy a high resolution sound thank you for watching guys hope you enjoy also this video and hope it will uh, uh, make your day and you can synchronize your receiver with your projector have a great day guys we are i technology reviews you got to love technology because technology will make you smart and it's a part of our lives thank you have a great day bye